Hey gang, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, glad you found me. And if you have been here before, welcome back. This is a video that I've been asked about so many times I can't even count. Weight loss. How can you drop a lot of weight really quickly? How do you make sure it stays off? How do you drop three inches in three days? Is it possible? Yes, it is. Is it a bunch of hocus pocus? No. That's hard to believe. I can promise you this is legitimate info coming from eight years of my post-secondary education. I have been specializing in weight loss now for about 10 years. I have a 100% success rate. I just want to help you and share this info because it's possible for everyone. And there's so much crap on the internet going around about juice cleanses and fasting and you need keto and- Shut up! Shut up! I just want to clear the air, let you know it's possible. Possible and tell you how you can do it too. And that's the miracle we need. We don't need people levitating three inches off their butt, you know, while meditating. That's stupid. When I was growing up, I had extra weight, a whole bunch of excess water retention. I had eczema, psoriasis, terrible PMS, Ugh. IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, terrible acne. Oh, and an anxiety and panic disorder as well. I mean, I was a mess. And all of those things, like getting tonsillitis all the time as a kid, all of these things that everyone just thinks is normal and that's just what happens to us, but... Don't believe everything you hear, son. That's a sham. It's not normal. It doesn't need to happen to anyone. And here's how you can clear it all really, really easily. It's not easy mentally. That is where the problem is. And one reason why I am so successful in helping people lose weight is because I include the mental aspect. It's not that easy mentally when there are other belief systems and other junk in your mind driving this. One thing that's sort of highly unknown around that I have found is people aren't really aware of the gut issues. I really started this for myself. I wanted to drop excess weight. I wanted to get rid of my water retention. I wanted to get rid of the cellulite that I had because I had tons of cellulite. As I was studying into the eczema issue that I was having, I came across a lot of info about gut bacteria. And gut bacteria is a huge driver in weight and weight loss. I am talking specifically about candida. So what I decided to do was totally clear my gut out and see if that would help my skin. That was the main goal. Not only did what I devised help my skin, it balanced my hormones, it got rid of my anxiety and panic, it got rid of my cellulite, it got rid of all of the acne skin issues. I don't break out at all anymore. Very randomly, I'll obviously get a pimple or two here and there like we all do if we've been ingesting things that maybe aren't so good for us but all of my problems disappeared. Everything I mentioned, gone. What? So originally it started as a gut cleanse, but then I thought, you know what? I just had a great idea. I kind of want to get myself off caffeine too. So I created a plan. It was only for one month. There was a little bit of ease in, about 21 days solid of the diet aspect, a little bit of ease out. None of that weight ever came back, ever. So people keep asking me, I did devise a 21 day challenge. You get a manual. You are in it for life. There's a private Facebook group. This comes with a complete diet, a whole workout plan, a whole ton of recipes. I think there's just over 80 now people who have 100% succeeded at this. So here are my tips. Candida in the gut is something normal that we all have and we all are born and grow up with a normal amount of this gut bacteria. But then certain situations in our lives and things things that we're doing, things that we're eating, drinking, tend to cause that bacteria to overgrow. It is extremely rare to come across a person that doesn't have an overgrowth of candida. The problem is more than 90% of the people that have it don't even know they have it because it shows up as all kinds of different things. So here are some little signs about if you might have a candida overgrowth in your gut. Like I said, skin problems, eczema, psoriasis, all always, always an overgrowth of gut bacteria. 
skin, nail, and fungal infections. So yeast infections, thrush in your mouth, those are more severe signs. Look at people's toenails, the big toenail. Do you have a fungal infection there? You have all seen somebody that's got this. Here's an example, here's another example. This is so, so common. Toenail fungus, 100% candida overgrowth, jock itch. 100% candida overgrowth, gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, any kind of IBS, feeling tired, suffering from chronic fatigue. How many people do we know that's got that? Irritability, mood swings, anxiety, and depression. Any kind of itching, whether it be on your butt, I know that's gross, but just saying, that's a sign, and recurrent urinary tract infections. I would say one of the biggest telltale signs, strong sugar and or refined carb cravings. So checking out that list, you can really see how a lot of people might not be aware that it's actually stemming from an overgrowth of gut bacteria. And it's so common to have this because here are the things that will cause that. Taking antibiotics, even one round of antibiotics, doesn't matter how long ago you've taken them. Eating a diet high in sugar and or refined carbs, high alcohol intake. Alcohol is the most refined sugar on the face of the planet. If you have a weakened immune system, taking birth control, diabetes can cause it, and stress. Stress is one of the leading causes of leaky gut and other gut disorders. So thinking about how many people suffer with the signs and symptoms I was talking about, and these people have no idea that it's just a matter of clearing that gut. If you would like information on that 21 day challenge, it's done by people all over the world. I'd be happy to give you more info, just comment below. So now for my tips. First of all, you'd have to ease in. I don't recommend jumping into this. What you would drink, water and any naturally decaffeinated herbal tea or Swiss water processed decaf coffee. The process of decaffeinating coffee and teas that inherently have caffeine in them is more toxifying than the caffeine itself is to your body. Please do look for naturally decaffeinated. Do not quit coffee immediately. You will suffer horrible headaches and more mood swings. I do recommend weaning off of it. Maybe switch to a green tea, which still has enough caffeine to keep those headaches at bay, but the detoxifying effects of the green tea are healthy for you. It's also a good tool for fat loss. You would be able to eat any vegetables at all, except for the ones that grow below ground. Why? They have too high of a sugar content. So candida really does feed on sweet things that we ingest. Yes, these are natural sugars in these vegetables, but you can't get rid of candida unless you go hardcore on that. Don't eat any veggies that grow below ground except for carrot because the antifungal properties of carrots outweigh the sugar content in them. Berries are okay. Berries are not a fruit, they're actually a seed. The only fruits allowed are green apples. They have the least amount of sugar in the apple family. Raw cranberries, which, ew, I don't know, that's way too, way too tart for me, but they're allowed. And citrus fruits. All citrus fruits are okay. Vitamin C will do you good too. Carbs. You can eat quinoa, rice, gluten-free pasta, and certified wheat and gluten-free oats. I like the Bob's Red Mill brand. Gluten is inflammatory for more than 80% of people, so just for this 21 days, we're getting rid of all inflammation. This is gonna help your inflammation, your hormones balance, help you regulate your sleep. It's gonna switch your body into fat-burning mode rather than getting rid of all the muscle. You can use stevia and xylitol. Drink a lot of water. You do not have to worry about portion control or counting calories or measuring food. And there are all kinds of hacks. I kind of have a secret little hobby about hacking any recipe to suit the candida diet. 10.9 pounds dropped across the board. I had a woman join the challenge who hasn't lost any weight in six years trying everything. Jumped on this, down 15 pounds in two weeks of excess weight and water retention. So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really hard. So those are some little tidbits. That should really, really, really help you and make sure above all else that you ease out of the challenge. Easing out is even far, far more important than the ease in process. If you don't do that, candida will grab onto the next thing you eat and just flourish. So you kind of got to just add things back in for two whole weeks once I come out of the challenge, I allow myself all fruits, all veggies, and all meats. 
the wheat-free oats, rice, gluten-free pastas. I allow all of that for two weeks, but I don't add in any processed sugar, any refined carbs, any of that, because that candida is gonna come right back. So it only takes about two weeks of easing out properly and you'll be just fine. And that also makes sure that you're not gonna rebound water retention and weight gain. You will gain a little bit of weight back in a healthy way. So don't worry about that. Your results will be lasting. And if you want more of the workout program or the recipes or anything like that, please comment below and I'd be happy to give you that. So if you thought this video was helpful, informative or entertaining at all, please do give it a thumbs up down there for me. That really helps me know what content to keep producing. If you would like notifications of the next time I post a video, please hit that little bell notification icon and you will be sent a notification each time I upload a new video. Please, please subscribe. Subscribing really does give me the most support. And please share this channel. The videos on this channel can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. So sharing it around will help many people and I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun making yourself healthy because I've always said it can be and should be an enjoyable process. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.